the story of how I became a cotton candy eating champion in front of over 10,000 people. Despite not really being a sports fan, I love going to live sports events. The best thing about going to a minor league sports game rather than a major league one was the games and events that they would have between certain innings. The best one was the cotton candy contest. They'd give three people big pieces of cotton candy and the three people would race to see who could finish it first. The thing about eating cotton candy is it needs to melt. It's not like you could like chew it. So you wind up stuffing all this cotton candy in your mouth and it's hilarious. I had a dream to be one of those kids that would get to go and do that. My family and I go to game after game game after game and just hope that they would pick me after many many times trying they called my name over the loudspeaker come meet them in the dugout to prepare for the competition i almost died it was the busiest game i'd ever been to thousands of people in the crowd i had a bunch of friends with me the pressure was on because you got more than just bragging rights you also received four free tickets for the next game if i got those four free tickets i would be a hero so they take me into the backstage area i see their mascot without his mascot head on which I'll be honest was a little traumatizing. I was 11 at the time. I ignored it and went along. They brought us onto the field, introduced us, and then we were set to go. I just, I devoured that cotton candy. The other two kids weren't even through half their cotton candy. I was done. They declare me winner. And the guy on the mic goes, tell everybody where you're from. And I had a mouthful of cotton candy that hadn't quite dissolved yet. <laughs> And they thought I said Florida. So uh, everyone in the stands that they thought a girl from Florida came out to Jersey just to win a cotton candy contest. 